There you go, all wiggle here. Six stinking weeks later, I found a buyer for the house. Not what I wanted for it, not really. I put more effort into this place than it ended up being worth. All things said and done, I should have taken that 55 offer I had a few weeks ago as is. I ended up making it look way nicer, putting a lot more effort in it. Hoping the market would treat me nicely, but uh, I didn't. But I did find some nice people and they need a house. So just doing a little walk through here. So uh, open that one. Even wash the windows. Make it look nice and pretty. So polish a pig. I mean, it's kinda how I feel just because I put so much in it. it. Ended up not not working out. Everything is fixed and working. tank, closet, here's the bedroom, got some doors on. Mostly packed up. So here's where I was sleeping. Motion light in the hall here. There's some cool shelves. Here's the stairwell. There's the dehumidifier. Taking it with me. There you see. Not leaving that. Here's the room. Back at the stairwell there. Hallway. Closet. Sump pump installed. Modern circuit breaker. Doors up nicely. It's the other side of the closet. Here's the other room. Polish the pig. Here's the closing the door with the shelves. People track mud in here. People were viewing the house. I didn't clean it up. The shower's working just fine. Nice and hot. Good pressure. Kind of the inside. Um, sliding door. So that's it. I'm going to take you outside even though it's raining. And here's what the place looks like. Much a bargain for the buyer. Yeah. 
There's the hatch. Just about done packing the car. I'm gonna walk through here so I turn off the lights. And I'll just go to the front. Well, I'll put on some shoes. So, the door locked. The door's locked. So. I think just any sense of sentimentality is gone. <laughs> <laughs> Ready to go home. Got a lot of work. A lot of time. A lot more time than I'd hoped. So, going down into the yard. Just, I would mow it. I didn't weed it this time. Just too much. That's all the paint. That's pretty decent. The power wash the top part painted a lot. The top was in pretty good shape from whatever four years ago or whatever. So, power wash the deck. Looks a lot better. Here's the yard. Now we had to put in a new water line. It was leaking like crazy under that tree. I bet I couldn't just pick this house up and plop it a mile south. It would have been worth a lot more. There's benefits to this neighborhood and, and disadvantages. New piece of lattice there. That's the front porch. Might do an outside perimeter walk too. Not right from this part. I painted the side of that shed with my extra paint. So here's the, the house. There's the shed. Porch. Fix that edge, it was not in good shape, so spruce that up a bit. I'm gonna take all these gas cans on my little rack. We're gonna try to get back to Virginia without stopping at a gas station. You gotta load up kind of like all my food and cooking stuff there. Put it in the back seat. There's my rack. Looks pretty much packed. Other than that stuff. Turn off the light. Right. Paid a buddy to uh, haul off this junk and he never showed up. Paid him ahead of time. He needed the money. So we shall see how that ends up going. This fence is terrible. I we get all the poison ivy chopped. I wasn't gonna be the one spraying Roundup, but that's what you kinda need to do with poison ivy if you don't have goats. So there's the back side of the shed waiting for paint. Up there I had a leak. Didn't want to buy a whole bundle of shingles, so I bought some flashing and patched up a missing shingle with flashing. It's not leaking now, so. Here's the house in the distance. It's pretty good, I think. Perfect place. Uh, yeah, I got asking price, and I put asking price low because I was hoping it would get bid up, but just the way they don't count the basement, 
way they don't count this big bathroom it was built without a permit so it's not on the books the street sweeper came today amazingly didn't do a great job but he came here's the perimeter view of that place yeah I wish this was in Virginia right down the street from there I would have added another room on it it's the bedroom on the other side but it brought the value up a ton We didn't even get a can. 730 North Wheeling Avenue. Not perfect, but a cute little house. Right by the railroad tracks. So, that's that. So yeah, I'm going to fill up the gas tank, which is pretty much topped off now, but I put the last few gallons in it. Get that rack on gonna make food ahead of time gonna try to just hit rest, rest stops only all the way home take some sandwich stuff with us to make sandwiches with and, uh, make one road I'll just get a little bit of ice so that's it update you once I get the car completely loaded waiting to sign the paperwork get the earnest money digitally sent to my bank I guess once that happens I can go pick up Tyler oldest son and hit the road and we gotta hit the, hit our mountain house on the way back take care of some mess up there 1200 miles away so I'll update you, this battery's going down it looks like anyway, so I will update you when I get the car loaded and then again when we leave, I'll let you know how it goes without hitting a gas station. Now I, I figure I need 40 gallons to get home with a full tank, that's approximate, but I have 45 gallons, should be enough to get me there without having to buy gas. That's what I'm hoping. So. Take our food with us. Might stop and make coffee at a rest stop. I, I, a lot of times I'll stop by coffee, but I'm not going to do that either. So, uh, at any rate, it's about 9 in the morning. Six weeks later, I'm ready to get the heck out of here. So, this is the house. This is the work I did. And did it pay off? Mm, no. So I'll talk to you in a little bit. Wiggle out.